There are no villains in this story, but there is plenty of evil. There are no heroes to speak of, but plenty of people who need saving. This world is a cruel place. Each day we tell ourselves it'll all be okay. We bury our heads from reality to keep it from getting the best of us. We tell ourselves stories to help make this life more bearable. But sometimes those stories aren't a fair way to view the world. Sometimes those stories aren't any good at all. Sometimes the book was better. My name is Alex Healy, and I'm the creator of The Book Was Better, a nine-chapter psychological romance graphic novel. This Kickstarter is for printing this first chapter of Nine, which itself is a full-color, 32-page complete story setting off the events for the rest of the graphic novel. After the sudden loss of his family in an overseas plane crash, Bo retreats to a local aquarium in an attempt to distance himself from the disaster. However, his worries began to manifest, negatively distorting the way he sees the world. Seemingly by chance, he meets the bubbly Ashlyn, whose very presence and odd perspective on life give the broken bow a new hope for overcoming his trauma. Physical copies of the Book Was Better chapters are Kickstarter exclusives, helping fund the creation of the full project as it progresses. We're also including bonus content intended for the back of the final graphic novel in these issue format individual chapter releases. Funds raised go toward the printing of physical copies of the comic and shipping them directly to you, as well as helping us fund future work on subsequent chapter development. Full color independent comics take a tremendous amount of time and effort to create, and something as ambitious as a graphic novel reaching nearly 300 pages is quite an undertaking. So we've decided to release by chapter to assist in funding the project as it is being created. As I mentioned before, I'm the creator of the comic, providing the script, inks, and letters. The colors are all done by my wife, Kim Healy. Yes, we're a husband and wife creative team making a romance comic. We see the irony. Together, we have worked on several independent comic projects in the past and are currently giving it our all on The Book Was Better, hoping to create something special in this rarely utilized genre. You can also find us both on our comedy gaming YouTube channel, Hamster Bomb, in the links below. So let's take a minute to talk about the rewards for backing this project. Starting at the lowest tier, you can back us for as little as $1 to have your name appear in the special thanks section of the comic. You will also be thanked in the complete graphic novel as well. It really means a lot to us having your help in achieving our dreams with this book, so it's the least we can do. Our next few pledges will let you get your hands on a copy of the finished first chapter of The Book Was Better. I mean, we're assuming that's why you're here. You can choose to either receive a digital PDF through email, get a printed copy shipped your way, or have Kim and I both sign a printed copy for you. As I mentioned before, this isn't our first comic, so speaking of our completed works, you now have access to a wealth of various comics we've created under Hamster Bomb Studios. There are two different bundles, one being entirely digital and the other being physical. Among other differences, here's a quick rundown of the comics that you'll be receiving in both bundles. R is an all-ages sci-fi time travel comic story where a young high schooler is suddenly thrown into a chaotic world of space and time manipulation in order to save his friends. The first issue is a 28-page standalone story introduction released in 2013, written, inked, and lettered by me, and colored by Kim. It's our first comic together, and with the same creative team responsibilities as the book was better. The story of R continues in this sequel issue where even more strange events twist a normal high school life into a world with an alternate history. This issue is a 26-page story released in 2015. This time, Kim took over the art digitally painting the whole book while I stayed on as the writer and letterer. Both issues of R also include some of my earliest comic drawings from grade school as bonus content. Next up is Dawn, a psychological apocalypse thriller comic where a strange mental disorder forces a young man to live his life out of sequential order, leaving him the only person aware of a foreboding dragon apocalypse. This first issue is a 28-page introduction to the world and characters of Dawn for ages 16 and up, and was released in 2014. I was the writer and letterer, while the digital illustrations were all done by artist John McCoy. 
The sequel issue of Dawn showcases more mind-twisting events as the characters attempt to survive the world and each other. John and I return with our previous creative team roles to round out this 24-page story originally released in 2015. Inferem is a full 84-page graphic novel created entirely as my senior thesis project in 2014. As such, I'm the sole creator for this one, doing all art and writing myself. The book is a colorful journey through the five phases of sleep, while the reader plays the part of the main character trapped in their own lucid dream. You'll hear the voice of an uncanny doctor teaching you about what you're seeing along the way, while also keeping their own agendas a secret. Now, some of our comics are exclusively digital, so in the Digital Comics Bundle, you can also look forward to reading these extra comics thrown into the pack. The Greys is a brand new dark sci-fi comedy for ages 18 and up, releasing for the first time alongside The Book Was Better. In a bizarre world where all the creepy supernatural things people believe are true, nobody will ever believe you. This is the first 12-page issue of the new ongoing miniseries created exclusively by me. Dead Fiasco is an absurd 12-page mini-comic for ages 16 and up that's so strangely disturbing, Kim insisted it never see the light of day again. In this dark comedy created entirely from repurposed cut-up fair use imagery, a small group gathers to the top of a rooftop near a nuclear waste facility in hopes of gaining superpowers. This comic was created by myself in 2015 and never officially released until now. This last digital exclusive is a short two-page prologue comic for Dawn never before released. This short introduction was actually created by Kim and I taking up our respective creative responsibilities. As I mentioned before, the digital bundle will include all these comics I just talked about as PDF downloads. But if you're like me, then you're more into physical printed comics you can hold and flip through. So for you, we've got a physical comics bundle with all of our printed comics together, including R issues 1 and 2, Dawn issues 1 and 2, Inferim, and of course, The Book Was Better, Chapter 1. We're also throwing in an 11 by 17 hamster bomb poster and printed t-shirt, both featuring art by Kim, John, and myself. The t-shirts are available in Gildan 500 sizes medium, large, and extra large. The poster and t-shirt were originally only obtainable through conventions, so this is the first time they're being released worldwide. Keep in mind we only have a limited stock of this bundle, so be warned. This project has been a culmination of countless hours from both Kim and I, and we're both very excited to finally see our book in people's hands. Be sure to tell us what you think by following me on Twitter, where you'll also get updates on the project as it progresses. Kim and I are already hard at work on upcoming chapters, so be on the lookout for news and sneak peeks in the future. You can also join the Hamster Bomb community over on Discord and subscribe to our YouTube gaming channel, Hamster Bomb, with the links below. Thank you all for your support and faith in our dream project. We'll hope you'll love it just as much as we do.